What's up everyone? In this video, I'm going to walk you through my new day trading indicator called Grizology. If you've been trading with me for a while, you get the joke, but uh, let's just get right into this. First off, I want to show you all how I like my settings. Okay. So I like inputs, allow overlapping zones, unchecked, one signal per zone, checked. Wicks, this is, you know, what's going to invalidate your zone. I keep it at wicks. You can adjust this however you like to fit your trading style. Um, you can turn off the boxes or the labels if you like. Of course, I'm sure you're going to leave them on. Now, let's get into this. First off, I like my confirmation off the hourly time frame. Yes, you can use the five minute. It's solid in most cases, but it does allow for more false signals, right? Or false confirmations. Do I trade individual stocks or just futures? So I had this built specifically off my trading style. So the zones are the hourly time frame. That's where they are created off, based off the hourly time frame. And I had this created for futures, ES, NQ. Also, you can trade options, SPY, QQQ, SPX. That's what I had this designed for. Have I back tested it for individual stocks like Tesla, NVIDIA? Um, no, I haven't. If you do trade individuals, just be sure you back test it and find the time frame that works best for you and your style. And be sure you add extra confirmation. Whatever your edge is in the market, add to this. Add the extra confirmation. Uh, add to the probability, okay? Nothing wrong with that. Now, let's talk about some things to stay away from. One thing, the hourly candle during data drop, specifically 8.30 a.m. Eastern Time data, like PPI, CPI, stuff like that. I will not trade them hourly candles. See, it confirmed here. That's not a trade I would take. Confirmed here. That's not a trade I would take. This was a trade I took pre-market. Caught this, caught five plus points to the upside. Very nice trade. Also, where would my stop loss be? This is my own stop loss. This is my personal risk tolerance. You may have a different one, but mine's typically close below the hourly time frame candle I entered on. Okay. Uh, and you know, maybe you if you want to make sure you don't take too big of a loss, set your hard stop close, you know, somewhere in the zone, below the zone, right at the bottom of the zone, whatever fix your trading plan, okay? Another thing I don't like to enter off of is like a huge hourly candle. If we have a 30-point hourly candle, like I'm going to stay away from that. That's not something I'm, you know, interested in trading. So that's some things to stay away from. I did take a trade on Tesla with options based off a of five minute entry, it made money. If I'd have held it, it'd have been a massive trade. I'm not saying it will not work on individuals. I just haven't back tested it. 99% of the time, well, maybe 95, I'm trading ES or NQ futures. I'm trading SPY, QQQ or SPX options. But remember, you know, if you have any more questions, I go live every morning on Instagram, create a watch list, free education. I've been day trading live on YouTube. So you can ask them, either place and you can drop them in the comments i just want to give you all a quick tutorial i will leave a link in the description if you want to get this and add it to your trading view um, as far as i know you can only add this on trading view but yeah i appreciate all the support i want to say that before i go i dropped this yesterday and it just all the support it just was better than i could have ever dreamt of um but yeah appreciate you all for watching and i will see you next time